Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to talk about a video that I saw on YouTube that I'm going to recommend to you guys. You will hear me talking about this in some other videos. Um, and it was called, it's, there is a YouTube channel, a website, a podcast um, for an organization, or I, I think it's a channel called Conversations on Healthcare. They do have a website, they do have a YouTube channel, and they have a podcast. So you can hear this um, this video, you can hear it or watch it in any of these places. It's called Long COVID Skeptics Are Wrong, Researchers Say. Now, there was an article, and I did a video on this. There was an article in the New Republic um, that was called... I did a video on it. It's a stupid article. It basically debunks, you know, it, it tries to debunk long COVID and talk about long COVID as basically something being all in your head. Um, and she, she addresses these two individuals, Yale researcher Akiko Iwasaki and the author of the Long COVID Survival Guide, Fiona Lowenstein. And this article basically just trashes long COVID, says that it's a functional neurological disorder. And this video, I think, was also in response to that. Um, Akiko Iwasaki and um, Fiona Lowenstein uh, got together and wrote this book called The Long COVID Survival Guide, which I review in another video. But this video is a good primer to introduce you to that book and also to the research that is ongoing with long COVID. Um, so I'm, I'm just gonna make this video short. I want you guys to go and watch that video. Um, Akiko Iwasaki is at the forefront. You're going to hear me say this a million times in a lot of the videos that are, are upcoming or that I've already posted. She is a Yale, uh, I think she's a Yale professor, researcher, doctor, and she's at the forefront of long COVID, not just long COVID, but post-viral, post-infectious illness. I've done a couple of videos on her already. Um, they do talk about the challenges that certain groups, people of color, women, face um, in getting medical care and being believed that will be addressed in the long COVID survival guide get that book um, and they do you know they do talk I briefly about that article in the New Republic which basically says that long COVID is a functional neurological disorder Akiko Iwasaki says it's not we have evidence from people's blood or from people's you know from what we've examined in people that have long COVID it's not a functional neurological disorder it's real it's making people sick and people are staying sick and they're having a hard time recovering. I love that she is just like, no, this is real. They don't even really discuss that other article. They touch on it briefly, but they are just like, no, this is real. There's research, there's evidence, you know, enough is enough. And I'm glad that they really don't talk that much about that other article. They briefly mention it. Um, and, and I was just like, what are they talking about? And I actually found the article just by coincidence through a different, a different entity. Um, she takes it very seriously. And I really like that. She, she, and she does touch on, you know, she doesn't say Lyme disease. You know, I think she does say ME-CFS, but she does touch on other conditions that are post-infectious in nature. Um, I know that she has to be very careful with the way that she um, speaks about these other conditions because they're all controversial and have also all been, um, you know, attributed to mental health problems. So, you know, she does tread very carefully, which I like, but it's unfortunate that she has to do that. Um, they, do, they do talk about medical racism, sexism, et cetera. You will see more of that in the Long COVID Survival Guide. Um, they talk about the patient, the patient research collaborative, which is also talked about in the long COVID survival guide. So I'm not going to get into that here. They just talk about how patients should be leading the research. Uh, patients should be guiding doctors and what to research when it comes to these conditions. They talk about Paxlovid research, how Paxlovid has been shown, um, at least in early stages has been shown to help prevent the development of long COVID, but they also talk about lack of funding. So this video, um, it's they're being interviewed, um, both Akiko Iwasaki and F 
Fiona Lowenstein because they're talking about the Long COVID Survival Guide. Um, but they are being interviewed. So I would recommend watching this video in order to get more of a feel on what is going on with ongoing research um, in long COVID and, and you know, any other post-infectious, post-viral syndromes. Um, you know, like I said, they are, you know, I do feel that this video and the book the Long COVID Survival Guide were written in response to that article in the New Republic, but I know that they don't want to draw too much attention to that article. I don't either. I did do another video talking about it. I don't recommend reading it. Just watch my video. That way you know, you know what I'm talking about when I say that article in the New Republic. Um, but if you want more information, just Google Akiko Iwasaki. She is the one that is is really pushing for this. Um, she believes us when we say that we are sick and that we don't feel well, um, even though we don't have this infection anymore or, you know, whatever. I don't know really what the science is behind it. Um, they do talk about how long COVID is on a spectrum from mild to severe. So Fiona talks about how she is not that severe compared to other people. And as you know, from Lyme disease, and um, you know, ME-CFS, multiple sclerosis, it, they exist on a spectrum. Some people can live relatively normal lives um, with some symptoms here and there that come and go. There are people who have just constant symptoms or there are people who are bedridden. Um, and they do address that a little bit um, in the video. So that can also complicate things and make the situation you know, uh, harder to believe when there isn't a certain set of symptoms that come with a condition. But like I said, it's converse, conversations on healthcare. They have a YouTube channel. They have a podcast. I think it's on Apple. I don't know. But they also have a website. If you don't have any of those other, if you can't access it any other way, go to conversations on healthcare website. It's called Long COVID Skeptics Are Wrong, Researchers Say. So check that out or Google Akiko Iwasaki. Um, she, she's kind of, like I said, she's kind of like the main person right now when it comes to these types of conditions. Um, and definitely watch my review of the long COVID, long COVID survival guide. If it's not up yet, it will be up soon. Highly recommend the book. If my video isn't up yet, just get the book, buy the book, get a copy. You need to have that if you have any type of chronic illness. So thank you so much for joining me and I will see you in the next one. Take care.